Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to download Minecraft Education Edition. Let's go see how it works. We are born learners. We crave new challenges and new adventures. Our creativity is limitless. And when we learn through play, amazing, often unexpected things happen. In schools and in homes around the world, Students are using Minecraft to build cities, explore coral reefs, to create with code, run science experiments, and to tell fantastic stories. Minecraft has always been about exploration and discovery, bringing together a global community of co-creators. Now, the next generation of engineers, biologists, and designers are inspiring us with their creations. Minecraft Education Edition empowers learners to solve problems they care about, to connect in new ways far beyond the classroom, and to build a better world through the power of play. So Minecraft is a great addition to our learning resources. And since you're all Peel students, you all have an account with Minecraft Education. So we're going to take a look at it and figure out how to get started. Now you can download Minecraft Education for an iPad, a Chromebook, or a desktop computer or laptop. I'm going to show you how to do it to a desktop computer. You're going to go to Google, you're going to open it up, and I'm going to type in Minecraft Education. And you see it pops up right there. I click on Minecraft Education and it will take me to the website. It's the top one. I click on it and it will bring me right there and I want to go over to support and then down to downloads and you can see that I have different options I can go to Mac I can go uh, Windows or Chromebook since I'm on a Mac I'm going to hit Mac and it starts to download the Minecraft program I'm going to wait for it to finish downloading and then I'm going to click on it to install it on my computer. The process will be the same if you're using a desktop computer or a Chromebook. Just go to their website, just like I showed you, and download it. Same with iPad. You're going to have to go to this website to do that. Once you have it installed, you're going to have to go find it. It should be on your desktop or in your programs, and it's going to be a cube brick thing Minecraft. You're going to click on it, and it should load right up. Once it's loaded up, I hit run and it will take me right to the Minecraft program. You're going to have to sign into your student account. Go to sign in, use your student number at pdsb.net. Once you've completed your student number, put your password in and then it will load up your account. So here's your account. Let's go take a little explore. You're going to click on play. And you can see you have my worlds. We have no worlds yet we've created. And all the worlds that you create will be saved specifically to the device you are using. You can either create new or you can build from existing templates. You can also go visit the Minecraft library. In the library, you'll find lessons, monthly build challenges, and various other activities. Your Minecraft building can cover many topics like science, math, language, social studies, and many, many others. But Minecraft is the most fun when we're collaborating together. So you will want to go back to your introduction page and go to Join World. From there, you're going to be given a code with pictures. Now, sometimes if that doesn't work, you're going to go down to these three dots and you're going to be given a long number that you have to type in exactly. Also from the main page, you can go and change your avatar. You can select what they call skins to what best represents you. Remember, please be respectful. So your job is to download Minecraft, get it on your computer, and play around and get comfortable with it. Get to know how things work so when it comes time for building, you'll be all set.